Your vaccination status could mean the difference between whether you'll use a plane, train or automobile to head to your Canadian vacation destination. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau announcing this morning that all air and train passengers in the country will have to be vaccinated before boarding. And that is stirring up some mixed reaction among travelers here at Pearson Airport in Toronto. I think it's a better idea. Everybody should have because 70 percent people have vaccinations. So why when other 30 percent people can do that? You know, safe for everybody. I think it'll certainly encourage people to get vaccinated, which I think is is a great thing. Um, you know, it's sad that it has to be legislated in that way, and it can feel heavy-handed to some people. But I think ultimately, it's a good thing. The new vaccine mandate will take effect at the end of October for everyone 12 and older. A short transitional window will still give travelers up until November 30th to use a negative COVID-19 test. After that, proof of vaccination is the only option. Air Canada was actually be able to tell me that I'm able to travel domestically without getting a vaccine, but now making it mandatory, I don't know. I don't think I would want to travel again. Certain freedoms? have to be balanced against, you know, public health concerns. I don't, I don't think we know enough to make those kinds of sweeping decisions. And I have a daughter, like four year old at home, and then I would totally uh, feel safer to take her around like, if everyone's mandatory to get a vaccine into the airport. Today's announcement comes as Stats Canada releases new numbers showing a noticeable increase in tourism activity right across Canada in July. Some of the contributing factors include the easing of restrictions as well as increased vaccination rates. At Pearson Airport, Tammy Sutherland, City News.